Hi guys, I'm going to show you my coloring book storage and how I organize it. Here is all my expensive adult coloring books and art journals and books and things. And on top of here, I have all my cheap coloring books like Amazon, the Dollar Store, Target. I took them all apart and categorized them in this giant folder I got for Christmas. As you see on top, I have a few pictures I'm working on. This one came out of the uh, beauty horror books. It fell out because I was working on it. And I didn't increase the book, it just fell out. So beware when you buy those books. Now I'm going to show you the books that I didn't take apart. And all my journals and stuff. And papers and books and stuff. We'll do from the smallest to the biggest. I just got, got most of his books. So, I have this one. I love them, but they're t falling apart. The one I'm working on was falling apart. I didn't crease the book at all, but that's all right. And then I have this one. Not from the same person, but I have this one that I love. I want to get his other ones. He has three other books like this. They have like different sceneries and things. I love it because the picture's here, and you can copy that if you want to on the other side. That's what I like about his books. His newest one is the bigger version of this. But I don't know if I want to get it or not. Here's number three of his books. The other person's book, the beauty, the horror books. And I love them. They're really detailed and pretty. But beware when you buy these books. I got them all on Amazon for a good price. But they're falling apart. Well, I'll show you the one that is. Number two is falling apart. I didn't crease the book at all to start coloring in it. And then guess the other day when I was trying to color in it, it fell out when I was coloring it. So beware when you buy these books. They tend to fall apart because they're glue bound. Not um, stapled in or... Stuff like that. Or sewn in, as I was trying to think of. But, anyway. My sister gave me this book, because she doesn't even use it. It's a How to Draw book, because she knows I like doing art. I have yet to use it. Sorry, it's hard to do one-handed opening. It teaches you how to draw all kinds of things. Not everything, but the basic stuff. I have yet to test it. Because I'm bad at drawing. That's why this is good book for me. I'm putting everything over here. This one I have yet to take apart. And I'm going to put it in here when I do. Then I have some... This is a good book. My friend got me this. I've colored only one page in it. Because it's so detailed, I feel like I'm going to mess up when I do it. This one, my f grandma is letting me borrow. I'm going to color the whole thing. It's not a coloring book. But when I'm done coloring the whole thing, I'm going to give it back to her. So... I colored a few things in it. Not very many in it so far, but. And then I have this book, which is really pretty. It's the one of the bigger books. I colored a few things in here. If I can find it, I'll show you. I colored that. Evil Queen. And I've started to color this. Which I need to finish, as you can tell. This book is falling apart. I got it on Amazon. The, like this. Where the binding is coming off. So beware when you get these type of books. The hardback books, they do that. This is my only hardback book so far. So that's just my opinion.
And then my cousin got me this for my birthday a couple years ago. It's a kind of like Where's Waldo book where you find different things in the picture. This ain't a book. It's an actual reading book. But I use it to put my coloring pages on top of on the couch. Before I got a clipboard. So I used to use an empty notebook. There's nothing in it. Just different pages. More paper. The clipboard. This has got works in progress that I need to finish. In there. And these are the pictures that I did do, as you saw in my other video. I'm going to move these off of here and I'm going to show you what I how I organize this. So let's go around here. It'll be easier if I go around and look. Down here I have a lap board that I use, some kind of tink thing, to color on top of on the couch. I don't like carrying that stuff sometimes. That's why I use a Scooby-Doo book to color in. Or on top of, not in, but on top of. I've had that Scooby-Doo book since I was like mm, 10 or 12. And I use it to color on top of. These are organized by category, as you can tell, by looking in here. I'll tell you each I'll tell you each category I have front to back or back to front. Don't judge me on the categories I have. It's just what I have from collecting coloring books over the years. The non expensive ones I take apart just to save space and put them in this big like accordion folder that my brother got me. It's about I think about 30 sections long. It'll hold the whole alphabet, so. Which I don't do, but. I'm just now dabbling into these. If you heard of these kind of coloring books, leave a comment down below saying if you love them or hate them. These are those ones that plastic paper. That plastic paper kind of style. This is more of like medieval style of what it is. Like that window paper kind of stuff you like that kind of stuff let me know i just did one as you can tell on my other one and it was okay i only have one book of that which it's okay then again it's not my favorite kind of paper to color on because you can't use much mediums on it but it will work with color pencil so this section is mandalas i have a whole section of mandalas if you want to see a certain section in detail of what kind of pages I have in each one. Let me know in the comments below what section, as I say them, that you want me to do a full flip through of each section. The next one in front of Mandalas would be... Different designs. Like different like shapes and designs and patterns and whatnot. And then in this one I have... Word designs. Anything that has a word on it and a picture to match, I just put it in here. If you want to get this, it's a good space saver. I'll put this in the comments below. That way you can just click on the link and buy it if you want. This one's food. Different food is in that one. The next one is people, different like people that I've got, the next one, let's just hang in it, but the next one is different places and buildings and whatnot going there, this one is mystical creatures like dragons and characters you don't believe in, things like that, the next one is Plants. Different like trees and plants and stuff. The next one is mandala flowers, is what this one is. Yeah, different mandala flowers and plants are in that one. The next one is flowers. 
the next one is I'm not gonna show you every page in here, but I'll show you every section when I pull them up. This one's animals. As you can tell, the bigger sections I have in here are the ones I don't color the most of. And then we have different like bugs and amphibians are in here. This one is sea animals and fish and things like that. The orange section has, let's see here, cats. My grandma bought me a bunch of them cat books, so I have so many. Okay, and then birds, different birdies are in here. Just leave a comment below of which one you want to see, what certain section you want to see that I have. Leave a comment below the name of the section. This one is, I think, Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. I think the next one's Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. The next one after that is the... Uh, Color by numbers, which I don't do very many of. That's why I don't have very much of that. And then I think that's all of my adult coloring pages. Don't judge me. I do do some kids coloring pages. I've had these for, since I was real little. So that's why I have these. And then these ones are from the dollar store. These are adult coloring pages, but they're like dollar store branded. That's why they're all here. That's why they're all here because they're like double sided and they're dollar store branded. I bought them when I first started coloring. They're okay to have when you want to color something, but I colored a few pages in some, but I prefer these. Next is Disney cartoons and things that are kids' coloring pages. Different Disney things I like to color are in there. These are just different characters that I have that are kids coloring pages, just different characters and stuff that I like that are in here. And this I put here in front of the stuff that I want to color first before I color everything else. And this is what I have in this section. Stuff I want to color first is right here in front. Because that's the only one they didn't have anything put into. So I took out what I wanted to keep out color first so I have a whole section of that so that's everything I have that I color on so if you want to see any of these let me know in the comments below the name of it I've named everything so you can tell me which one you like to see a full flip through of or if you want to see any flip throughs of those books I have let me know talk to you later